A lot of uh, histories of economics would start at Adam Smith. So, so say Adam Smith was the, the, the father of, of economic thought. And there's, there's quite a good reason for that. I mean, in a way, he did start to define the sort of modern shape of the subject. And, you know, he was writing on the, on the cusp of the Industrial Revolution when, when, you know, capitalism was really burgeoning and, and the economy was moving towards the sort of form that it has today. And that's what a lot of economics is about. It's about markets and capitalism. But I wanted to go back a lot further, further back. I mean, for one thing, the economic struggle, the struggle with scarcity, the struggle to, to, to feed our families, that's been going on since humans, since humans have been alive. And people have been thinking about what, what, that's, what that's about and how, um, how, we should, how we should deal with those problems. And sometimes in a completely different way to how modern economists do. So in the Middle Ages, it would have been, you know, is the, is, the, are we, uh, is the economy sort of consistent with Christian teachings? And are we, are we being moral in the way that we're buying and selling things? But to me, that's still about economics. That's still, so I, I'm defining economics rather more broadly than, than, than some histories would do that. So I go all the way back to the, the ancient Greeks. <laughs>